Welcome to my lightning talk on how to build your brand as a programmer. My name is Corey Altoff, and this is a very quick five minute talk, but hopefully you'll pick up a few things about building a brand as a programmer that you will find useful. So I started my career as a, soft, uh, as a software engineer at eBay. I majored in political science, and then one year later, I ended up getting my first job as a programmer. Now I'm working as a developer advocate at Vonage on the community team, which is awesome because I'm super passionate about building community. So it's great to be able to wake up every day and build community. I also get to spread awareness about our communication APIs. So we have an API for SMS and making phone calls programmatically, live video. And so it's really cool to be able to spend my time educating developers about our APIs and doing developer education in general. I've written two books. The first is The Self-Taught Programmer, and the second one is called The Self-Taught Computer Scientist, and that is coming out in July, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, to my disbelief, my first book, which I actually self-published, has now sold more than 150,000 copies worldwide. My Udemy course of the same name has 140,000 students. My Facebook community, Self-Taught Programmers, has 60,000 members. I have 28,000 subscribers for my programming newsletter, and I have over 200 follower, uh, 200,000 followers on social media. So it's been a pretty wild ride, and I've learned a lot building a brand as a programmer, which I'm gonna share with you today. So here is what I've learned building my brand as a coder. The first thing you wanna do is to decide your niche. So you need to decide what you're going to be seen as an expert in, whether it's going to be data science, Python, JavaScript. Obviously there's a million different things that you could become an expert in within programming. But it's very important to narrow down your focus and decide what you're gonna talk about and stick to that niche. People are gonna see you as an expert in this topic and they're gonna to wanna to come back to you again and again for advice and content related to your niche. You also have to define your goal. That's really important. If you don't define your goal, you're gonna spend a lot of time uh, you know, working on building this brand and maybe not seeing any ROI. So you wanna decide why am I building this brand? As a programmer, two worthwhile goals that you may be considering are when getting help uh, with a promotion, you know, having a brand that helps you take your career to the next level, or when you're switching jobs, being able to say, hey, look, I built this brand and um, it shows that I have a lot of technical expertise and that could help you to get your next job. So the next thing you want to do is to choose the platform that you're gonna build a brand on. So there's a million different platforms that you can choose from. You can start a blog, a podcast, Twitter, Facebook groups, email lists, uh, Instagrams, any social media network. There's a million different platforms. I think that right now the best thing for programmers is to either blog or start a podcast because that's long form content that allows you to really showcase your technical expertise. Again, it's going to depend on what your goals are. Uh, you know, if you're doing freelance programming, I talked to a lot of people, um, during the networking part before this, uh, that were freelancers or consultants. And so you could actually use a blog to bring in clients, find out what your clients pain points are and write long form content, addressing those uh, pain points. Um, and then have a link in there to contact you, right? So you can use that to get clients. You can use that to showcase, you can use a blog or a podca podcast to showcase your technical expertise to potential um, employers. Um, and another thing I learned that's super important is that you don't have to use every platform. So pick one platform and focus on that. You don't have to you know, be on every single social network, uh, Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and start a Facebook group. Uh, it's best to focus on one platform and really build a following there. Uh, that's super important. You don't wanna spread yourself too thin, focus on one thing, determine a goal and then execute from there. Um, you're also gonna wanna choose the platform that suits your strengths. Um, so if you're a great writer, maybe you wanna spend a lot of time on Twitter or blogging. If you're great at speaking, maybe do a podcast. Um, and if you're really um, maybe like great at design or something like that, you can go on Instagram. The key is organic growth. You wanna make sure that whatever you're doing, that you're seeing organic growth month after month. And if you're not seeing that organic growth, uh, potentially you should pick another platform. Uh, finally, you're gonna wanna create excellent content. Um, make sure that you're putting in a time uh, to create really, really, really good content. If you're doing blog posts, you know, write a 2000 word blog post, make it so that it answers all of the questions on that technical topic. And um, 
that is my presentation for the day. Feel free to connect with me on Twitter at Corey Altoff. Uh, thank you all so much. And uh, I hope you learned a little bit about how to build a brand.